I want to build something that you guys can be proud of. In the Sun Belt Conference, I want to be the team that everybody's chasing every year. That's my goal, and I'm going to get it done. Little Rock is not only winning games, but they're proving critics wrong. Ranked 11th in preseason Sun Belt polls, the Trojans now stand at first place, and they're not looking back. People keep talking about first place. At the end of the day, that could change in one game or two games. But I can say this about this young basketball team. Their focus was trying to get to New Orleans and get to the tournament. It was great to be in first place, but that's not the ultimate goal. New Orleans, March Madness, of course, we would like to be there as every team, but we wanted to prove something to everyone else, you know, because we were last. No one expected us to be here. We're trying to prove, first of all, to ourselves that we are better than that than the last place that they chose us in the preseason. And of course, we're trying to prove people that we are way better than that. We had high expectations before the season started. We never expected us to be first place so far, but we got to prove something to ourselves first and then to other people. The first year of the Daryl Walker era, a last place finish in Sunbelt. When you're dealing with a bunch of freshmen, it's going to be a bunch of up and downs, and that's what we've been this year. Now in the second year, a big turnaround, standing at first place in late January. I'm trying to build something we can sustain where we can be good every year, not good one year and then fall off for the next two years. How did this team turn the corner? Well, I wanted to take my time and build the program the right way. And first of all, we're a year older. Freshmen last year that took those close losses and didn't know how to close the game out, they're more calmer in timeouts. Uh, when they come to the timeouts, they're the ones that say, hey, it's winning time, let's execute offensively and defensively. They didn't say that last year. So a year of growth has really helped this basketball team. You can see with the wins, everyone is proving on the court. There's whole bunch of players that improved a lot from last year. It means a lot to the city. I think people want to see the winning team, not the losing team. So people are coming to games and you can see more and more people every game. Yes, sir. Uh, the crowd is getting bigger and bigger each game. They expect from us something. Little Rock's most recent glory days came in 2016. Led by Chris Beard, the Trojans upset Purdue in the first round of March Madness. But Beard wouldn't stick around. He left for Texas Tech. Little Rock, meanwhile, has not seen a winning season since. Building the program back to national relevance is a process, and one Coach Walker knows takes time. Chris Beard did it in a, in a magnificent way by winning 30 games and just having a, a heck of a year. And I knew we weren't going to have a year like that. I thought we had to build the program, the program from the ground up, and that's what we've been doing. I took a lot of lumps last year by starting a bunch of freshmen. I knew we were going to lose some basketball games, but hopefully they would turn the corner in the second year, and they've turned the corner a little bit in the second year. The time for a deep run may be now for Little Rock. As of their win over Troy, eight conference wins is two more than any other Sun Belt team. And get this. The Trojans have already won more in-conference tests than they did all of last season. So, what made the difference? In the huddle, on this bench, and in the locker room, what's the culture been like to be able to pull off that surprise so far this season? Well, of course, we're just uh, supporting each other every day and never practice, of course. I think that's a bond between players and the coaches, and we're trying to listen and uh, do whatever coach tell us to do. Well, I just, wherever I go now, wherever my players go, people are recognizing them, people are pulling for us. A first place standing in Sunbelt has Little Rock faithful on cloud nine. But the team is staying grounded and not taking their success for granted. Me coming as a freshman, it means a lot for me to be in the first place in the Sun Belt. It's a good conference, good games. We play good defense. We, we are trying to win by defense first, then offense will come by, by defense. And we're, we're winning so far, we just we, we got to keep the same mentality. With over a month remaining in their schedule, the Trojans believe their best is yet to come. I, I think we have a couple of more levels that we can get to. We haven't, got, we haven't gotten there yet, and my goal is to have us playing really good in February. Playing well then, maybe even easier than past months. International players Nikola March and Marko Lukic couldn't touch the court until January due to suspension. In their first five games back, each averaged about 20 minutes of action per outing. Their return to the hardwood means a lot to this team. It's a long time coming for Nikola and Marko. It's been the process. We've been working really hard to be ready so we can uh, help our team get better results when we get back and we, we're really happy to be back on the court with our teammates. Well, it means a lot for sure. I mean, uh, Nicola and I were waiting for this for opportunity for so long and it means a lot. I mean, we're here because of basketball. We love to play basketball, so it's finally 
finally we're happy for that. Mm -hmm. How have you seen them grow over the last week or two? Well, it's it's been fun to have those guys back. They've been playing great off the bench. Uh, we, of course, we know Nico could easily be starting, but he missed so many games, and we've already had a lineup that's been starting. So now he's coming off the bench with Marco, and they've been a great asset for us offensively off the bench. From tip to final buzzer, the Trojans look like a new team. It's the time in between game days that has paid off with wins. Well, in my opinion, it all everything comes from practice. We've been practicing really hard from the beginning of the summer, and I think. That, that pays off. When we take the game by game and between the games that time, we're trying to improve on those little things that we made mistakes in pre-game. Pre so that's a big to us. Every day we, we come here, we work, we go to weight room, we, we come here with Coach Walker, Coach Baker and other coaches, work again. I'm saying we're working uh, individually after each practice, so we're just trying to get better and keep improving every day. With Little Rock's program on the rise, some vouch for Daryl Walker as a Coach of the Year candidate. His players see why firsthand on a daily basis. I mean, I've seen a lot. He's obviously a great coach. He's teaching us really good. We are obviously listening to what he got to say, and that's what's going to make us win. As Little Rock solidifies themselves as the cream of the crop in Sunbelt, it's easy to start forecasting a tournament berth. But the Trojan sites are only on the task at hand and the opponent on deck. Well, the good thing about it, I, I, try to, I try to keep my guys away from the media and, and reading stuff, but I can't do that because they're going to be on Twitter and Instagram. But I can say this about this young basketball team. They're focused about one game at a time. We're just going by day by day, game by game. We don't go like, we got to win next game, we got to win next five games. No, we just keep playing our, our game. We, we don't really uh, look that far in future. Of course, like every other team, we're trying to go to the tournament, but like Coach said, we're taking everything game, game by game, and between the games, we're trying to improve on those little things that Coach is explaining to us. It's a long season. It'd be nice to be sitting in first place, yes. We were in last place last year, but at the end of the day, we still got to keep winning basketball games. From Jack Stevens Center, Nick Walters, Fox 16.